This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. A man has died after being found with injuries to his throat in El Cajon. When officers arrived at the scene, they say they found him with his throat cut in front of an apartment complex on Graves Avenue around 1130 Sunday night. Officers say they administered CPR. He was taken to Grossmont Hospital where he later died. Now, police say he has was in his 50s, but has uh, they have not released a name and they are investigating what happened. Well, multiple jockeys and horses recovering from injuries after the several went down at the Del Mar racetrack. Video from Sunday showing seven horses going down during a race. Five jockeys had to go to a hospital. We don't know the extent of their injuries, but it's been confirmed they have all been released from the hospital. We're told none of the horses have life-threatening injuries, but several were treated for lacerations. They are all expected to survive. A local college and university students returning to campus. Today is the first day of in-person classes for many, including San Diego State. All students and staff have been required to get vaccinated or be tested every week. The university says they've also added extra crews to patrol neighborhoods and to follow up on security concerns as well as loud parties. All right, let's check in with Megan now on our weather picture today. How are we doing? Well, it's still cloudy for some areas, but we are starting to clear on out. That trend will continue into the afternoon. A warming trend begins today as well. We'll stay in the 70s along our coast. We'll be in the 80s inland to the mountain areas, about 104 in the deserts. But look at this warm up we're going to be feeling by Wednesday. We're going to see some 80s for the warmer coastal areas and inland neighborhoods soaring into the 90s by then. We'll see faster and better clearing of the marine layer each day after today. Today's kind of our transition day out of that gloomy pattern we've been seeing. By midweek, temperatures will be 5 to nearly 15 degrees warmer, and the warmer weather sticks around into the weekend. Oh, it returns. All right, <laughs> Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.